everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a flying ant. The hook I'm going to use is a hands type 323. This one is size 18, barbless hook. The thread is the nano silk from Semperfly. This one is in the color olive and is an 18 oat. To start we'll put down just a layer of thread. Starting behind the eye of the hook and we'll take down the thread to where the barb should be then we can cut off the tag the important part about an ant is to have three segments on the fly so at the back we'll have the body which is one clump then we'll have the legs in the middle and then near the eye of the hook we'll have the head so these three parts should be distinctive and make a nice profile to the fly. To build up the body I will use some dubbing and here I will be using black opossum. So build up a thin and quite short dubbing noodle. On these size 18 you don't need much. Put on the dubbing to the thread and then just where the barb should be we will start to build up the body. I will just add a little more and then continue building up the body of the fly. And this part should stop here, right in front of the point of the hook. Now for the wings, I will use some para posts in the color white. And I have taken one strand or one bunch of fibers and I separated it in two and then I separated <laughs> that one in two so this is one fourth of one of these clumps so we'll tie it in just in front of the body here I'll tie in one part on my side and then take the other part fold it over and with some turns secure it to the other side of the hook so now we have two wings one on each side then come in and cut these off quite close for the legs of the fly I'm using some dark down CDC and here I have already prepped a feather I just used the magic tool and trapped all the fibers in this clip so now I will use the split thread technique to insert the fibers, this way I don't build up too much bulk on the fly. So take your bobbin, spin it counterclockwise, then with a dubbing needle you can split the thread. And here I don't want to use all these fibers, so I'll just take a pinch, insert it between the threads and then spin it back clockwise to trap the fibers and here you really don't need many fibers we just need to have some fibers sticking out to the sides so here we'll go up covering the pair post then add some more dubbing I'll use the same one this is the black opossum build up a thin and short dubbing noodle and we'll build up the head and this one should be a little smaller than the body of the fly and here you want to keep this part separated from the legs then come up to the eye of the hook and the last thing to do is to whip finish one two three pull tight then cut off your thread then we can adjust the CDC fibers to represent the legs. And here the sparser the fly, the better the profile will be. The fish that will see this from underneath will see these three parts. And this is what I think really works well when you want to imitate an ant. So this one is a really easy tie and it's really effective on windy days when terrestrials and small insects have been blown out onto the water so I really suggest you should give these a try. 
Thanks for watching and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. So see you next time and happy time!